Here are the useful apps you must download for the Apple Vision Pro. Starting off with this whiteboard app. It's called Great Whiteboard and it's free to download and it works exactly like how you expect it. You simply just place this anywhere around the room, a wall, let it float, whatever your style is, in place and you have multiple different markers to choose from, colors. You could even change the whiteboard color if you want it to be a white or a blackboard. And of course you could also add photos. And then once you're done, you can just tap the erase icon, erase the entire whiteboard and start from scratch. You may notice I've used my hands to draw on or write on the chalkboard. So it uses your hands since the Apple Vision doesn't use a controller. This is how you basically operate it, but not bad for a free, I guess, widget style app. A WPM typing test for the Apple Vision Pro is the name of this app and does cost $3. But don't worry, all the other apps I'm going to show you are basically free. Just this one costs $3 because I feel like this can actually become useful for some users. Especially to those who are actually planning on typing with the Apple Vision. I have to be real with you, when I first got the Apple Vision, typing with this virtual keyboard is annoying. But traveling with an actual keyboard can also be annoying. Especially since, especially since the keyboard itself doesn't fit comfortably in the travel case for the Apple Vision. So the virtual keyboard is a powerful tool. And... If you could master this, this is a great way to do this. So this app basically allows you to increase your typing speed with the virtual keyboard to allow you to get the hang of like typing. So if you ever have to type of a document or something like that on a, on a moving bus, airplane, instead of physically bringing a keyboard, this is a powerful tool because this I feel like can easily allow you to type quickly and efficiently with a virtual keyboard, which is why it's on my list. So since I'm personally using it and trying to build up my skill, it's a recommended app I would recommend for others who's also in a similar field as I am. Plant Daddy. It's a free to download app and what this allows you to do is it's perfect for those who have multiple plants in their household as you can make as many plants as you want, name it, even specify the exact species that it is and upload your own little photo if you want to and whenever you create a plant you can click and drag this little window over the plant so I'm just going to use this as an example currently on vacation. So if this was my plant, I'm able to check mark it right here that I wired it for the day. So next time when I put my Apple Vision on, I could make sure that I made sure that this plant was watered. So it basically allows you to put little notes on top of your plants and just check mark that you did indeed water it, water your plant for the day. Now good ad blocker, Bolt is the one I'm currently using. It's free to use and it works extremely well. Although you do have to go on your quest settings to go on setting and then go on apps and click on Safari and just make sure you enable all of the things for Bolt. But once you do that, you're free to go to like those news articles without fear of being bombarded with a bunch of random ads. I've used it already for one week now and my experience has been positive. It doesn't, it gets the job done in terms of blocking ads when you're just perusing the internet. Now this ad is also free to download, it's called Chat AI. And if you're familiar with ChatGPT, as well as other like AR, AI platforms, I'm sorry, this one's pretty awesome because even though there is a monthly subscription, just exit out of this and it'll let you still use the free version. This will give you quick access to not just ChatGPT, the free version, but you also get access to multiple different AI image generators and they could do fantastic stuff. So I just typed in this generic one and it gave me this image. And then if I want to, of course, I could go back to ChatGPT, ask any questions or try to find information I'm trying to find more information of and I could ask it and it'll give me the question right here and there instead of me having to go on Safari. It's nice to have a nice separate app because it's here, it's available and I also have a history log to go back to make references out of. So the fact it's free and it works really well, free version, it's my recommendation for productivity purpose apps. If you ever have to measure something that like you can't find a tape measure, this app is your best friend. It's called Hand With and the way it works is this actually allows you to use your both pointing fingers and just spread out and it will give you the exact measurement right here. This works shockingly really well and it's actually pretty consistent as I can literally go point to point and just spread out my fingers and I can see the exact measurement right here. 
Now, if you want to change the measurement to something else like inches, you always have full freedom to just go into the settings and switch between these different other options that we have right here. So I changed it to inches and it's so convenient in measuring stuff, especially when it comes to like screens or debates on how big is a certain door with your partner. This is the ultimate measuring tool. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Reflexy, this is a free download app that's also a, somewhat of a mini game, but this allows you to easily increase your, your reflexes. As basically, it's very similar to like puzzle popping bubble wrap type of thing because you don't have to buy the actual like paid version. I'm perfectly fine with the free versions. I have a menu of multiple different customization menus I can select from as well as difficulties. And the objective is just to use your field of view and just tap on the green bubbles and it will give you a grade. So it's a fun popping pop bubble type of style game. Uh, it's free to download and I find myself having a blast with this app. So again, my recommendation, I recommend you to give it a shot. iBattery is the name of this next app and what this app allows you to do is basically have it outside like a widget. Uh, so in case you missed my previous video, I like using the clock as well as the time widget on my workspace. Well, this allows me to actually monitor everything. But in addition to that, with this battery, I could finally measure, monitor the battery life remaining on my headset. So here it also shows me the percentage and underneath that I can also switch it to the history log. Now I am quite aware there's other widgets, other versions of these type of apps available, but they all cost money. This one is the only one that's free. That is a powerful tool and it also tells me how much time is remaining on the very bottom. But of all of these, if you were to buy one, I like this lava lamp one. It's kind of interesting. It's not free, but this one's kind of cool because you can place it on actual furniture and monitor your headset like this as well. I have both of these linked in the description down below for you guys. Now, another productivity focused app that I've been finding myself using the most is the Sticky Note app. This Sticky Notes allows you to create sticky notes and you could attach them on either walls or floating over objects. And basically just allows you to create as many sticky notes on the go and label it throughout your household or building you're in throughout the day. So if you're trying to stay organized, but you don't want sticky notes all over the place, this allows you to take sticky note, sticky noting, if that's a word, to the next level. And it's also ready to download. So it's a pretty funny app, pretty cool, powerful to the right user. And since it's free, I recommend it as it doesn't hurt to try. And there you have it. Those are all the amazing apps I was able to find that were useful for the Apple Vision Pro. If you wish to download them, I'll have them all linked in the description down below. So they are all literally a click away. And while you're down there, make sure to leave this video a like and get subscribed for more. Now, if you'd like to watch the part one version of the app videos I have downloaded, you might have seen I have some other apps running in the background. You could go ahead and check it out right over there. I'm your host, Eddie, and thank you for watching Hotshot Tech.